Welcome to this session on unsteady state calculations, heat loss. So in this exercise, we're going to focus on running heating load calculations using the SIBC heat loss tools from the steady calculations group. So I'm going to pull down this tool so we can actually run both a simple model or a basic model. For this exercise, we're going to use the basic model. So I'm going to select the SIBC heat loss basic. Again, I'm going to first select none to deselect the rooms that are, are selected, and then we'll select the, the zoned conditioned exterior rooms. Then we'll move to the design data tab. And the only change I'm going to make on design data is the type of heating system that we wish to select. So I'm going to select all my rooms and then we're going to change our main heating system. So I'm going to pull down and there's a pick list of sort of generic type heating systems. And we're going to select the forced warm air down from a high level, assuming we've got air diffusers in our ceiling forcing warm air down. Then we'll take a look at the summary report. Note that our design day here is January 21st. And we can see our, our inside air temperature as well as where some of the loss is coming from. And if we take a look at the full report tab again, similar information, but it will be room by room, hour by hour of the day. And finally, we'll take a look at the graph, which will show us in, in graph form the percentages of the heat loss. And again, we can look at the totals or we can look room by room. Now let's compare our office on the first floor and we can see 16% of our heat loss is coming from the walls. If we switch to the second floor, we'll note that's reduced quite a bit. It's only 7%. If you remember when we were setting up our constructions, we had all that additional insulation in the metal panels, you know, which had a higher U value, whereas we did not have that additional insulation in the brick wall. So why don't we go back and add that insulation to the, the brick wall and see if we can make a difference here. So we'll go back to the data managers, open up our materials manager, expand my project walls and select that brick wall. What I'm going to do is change this air gap. So we'll do a change layer here. And we're going to change it to some type of insulation. So for instance, we could cha change that to mineral wool fill type. We'll leave the, the thickness the same, which is the 95 millimeters, because that's, that's the, the thickness of our stud. And if we look at our U values, that should have improved our U values for our brick wall. So let's go ahead and select OK. Now, since that wall type's already applied to those walls, we don't need to do any type of global change. We'll just go back to the calculations. We'll run our, our heat loss basic again. And so it should have the the design data that we put in before, and we're just going to go back to that graph view, and let's compare the two office floors. So if we look at the open office 1-1, we can see now that has been reduced to 5%, as opposed to the 16% we had earlier. Of course, we didn't change the floor two, so that's still 7%, but we are able to see that difference that was made in terms of heat loss. So we'll go ahead and close that dialog and we have finished our calculations. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.